Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Boba7772 and today I'm bringing you the Star Wars Kanan The Last Padawan Issue 3 comic review. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, now this issue was kind of boring for me, I'm going to be honest. Um, I thought that it'd be a lot more interesting. The first issue was really good, had me on my toes. Second issue was really good and then this issue was just like... Uh, so they, I, uh, yeah, it, it, it could have gone and like just completely done its own thing, but instead it just made it try, I guess, try to tie into the Rebels TV show a bit too early, I think. Uh, but anyway, pretty much what happens in this is, uh, C Caleb Doom is like, oh no, um, I'm, uh, I returned to Coruscant, and I probably shouldn't have, so what What should I do? Um, and he's like, well, at least um, I can try to take a few down with me. He starts firing on him, and then he tries to jump uh, into slip space, and he uh, actually succeeds. So he kills a few, guy, a few clones. He's like, where should I go? Where would they not expect me to go? And he goes, I got it, the place I just left, uh, even though his ship is probably tracked at this point. So he goes back. The guy who he stole the ship from points a gun at him and he's like, get out. So Kanan, uh, Caleb goes and lives on the street for a while. Um, and then he sees a guy who he stole the ship from later in the issue. Um, he sees a group of thugs holding a gun up to him and then Caleb swoops down and saves him. And then the guy's like, ah, why would you do that? Uh, I was, I had him in my grasp. I could have gotten so much money. Oh, well, you're gonna work as a slave for me. So, um, he gets Caleb this new outfit, a new hairstyle and everything, um, and it's pretty reminiscent of uh, how he is as uh, Kanan Jarrus. So uh, he still doesn't have his name yet, but he's like, until you pick a name, you're just going to be uh, known as Kid. Uh, I believe that either the guy's name or uh, who you know, who he stole the ship from, or the ship's name, or something is named Jerris. So that would explain where he probably is going to end up getting his last name. Um, anyway, they end up going on a mission at the end of this, uh, and the guy looks like an elite from Halo. I'm gonna just show you a quick picture, because it looks really cool. Um, I, I think that he looks kind of like an elite from Halo, at least the mask does. Um, so... Yeah, there we go. And then you can kind of see Kanan in the background with his ponytail and everything. Um, you can see the uh, guy who looks just like an elite. It's really cool. But um, anyway, uh, they keep going and then uh, they get surrounded and they're like, you didn't think we'd see you? And he goes, uh, what about we make a deal? Um, you let me go and I'll give you the Jedi. And he points to Kanan and Kanan's like, oh, and then it's like to be continued. So I, I don't know. I just found that really, really boring and like they could have done something really cool with this but instead they're just like we know Kanan's gonna get out alive we know he's not gonna have a scratch on him um I I don't it, it just seems like uh they aren't given too much to work with I guess they aren't given too much creative freedom and they're trying too hard to tie it into the show too early um but I guess otherwise it was really good. I think that they should have tried to do something big, like, uh, spoiler alert, with one of the newest issues of the Star Wars uh, comic, uh, we learned that Han Solo has a wife. That was something big. They should have done something big with this. Um, we had Depa Bilaba end up getting killed off, a film character killed off in this comic series, so we know that it has quite a bit of merit. Um, the last two issues were really interesting, but then this one, I don't know, it might have just been me, but it felt really boring. Uh, the art's really nice, though, and the story, uh, I guess, I'm hoping that it's just kind of a boring bridge that'll lead to something more interesting on both sides of that bridge. Uh, if you want to uh, start collecting this, I'm pretty sure that you can still find issues one, two, and still get three. Um, but, you know, if you're watching this at a later date or you want to wait or anything, it'll probably be released in a trade paperback, which usually consists of uh, six issues in one. Um, but anyway, uh, it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't one of my favorites either. I think that they could have done a little better, but uh, either way, um, still an interesting issue. Tell me what you think about it. What do you think about all the new characters that are introduced here? What do you think of the two clones that are most likely still hunting uh, Caleb? Uh, what do you think of his, quote, ally, end quote? 
Um, what do you think of the series as a whole? So uh, that's pretty much it with my video. Thank you for watching, and please make sure to subscribe for more uh, reviews and whatnot. And until next time, Boba7772 out.